Okay, we're back with the chassis. This here, this is in focus over here, is Gibbs brand. This is what we squirted it down with. That humming you hear in the back, that's my air compressor. Now I've been squirting this down everywhere. I'm going to give it a final little squirt and pull this ass end off of it right now. This one's dead. buy a case of it, last time I bought it, it might be more expensive now, this Gibbs brand is about 16 bucks a can, sticker shock, WD-40 is about 5 bucks a can. This makes WD-40 look like it's water. This is WD-40 on steroids, it's Hercules. So it's worth the money, but uh, I got sticker shock when I first bought it, like oh my god, what did I do? But it works. It's well worth it. What it does is it literally molecularly bonds with the metal. So I can take my cleaners and come out with fresh looking CAD, stick that in Gibbs, and it gets a little wet, like dew or something, a little rusty in the morning. And what I can do, I can take a cloth and wipe it off. Try that with WD 40. Doesn't happen. So, we're going to get in here and play around a little bit. Before I take this oil tank out, let me see if I can loosen up this cap while everything's still rigid. So we'll get over here, maybe you can see what I'm doing. Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. So this bike's been sitting and getting crusty for quite some time. I'm still going to need a little more soaking on the cap, it looks like. I'm squirting it, squirting it, but still ain't enough. <coughs> no. So the problem is I can't get a flat angle on this to really just twist. So it's, it's stuck pretty good. So it's going to take me and somebody else, or a couple of guys, who can get a flat angle to twist it. So we're going to go ahead and take the rear end off. Please give it a shot. Hopefully we'll get it off. It's all about how much the magic goo is actually loosening stuff up. So. We'll give it a try. different tools to see which angle goes what goes where unless you're sitting there taking out oil tanks every week I'm not you're gonna forget and I certainly didn't assemble this Ooh, she's happy now 
Always check for fit. Even if you think you know what you're doing. And the reason being is because you don't want to think it's fitted on whatever you're doing and then come along, apply a little pressure, like with an air compressor, and have it go zip, and there goes your head and your bolt. So check for fit before you do something like this. Make sure everything's lining up right, exactly where you want it. Even then, you can still spin the head off. I've done it. The reason why I'm using air is because they're tight. Come on, spin. This one's being a real pain. Sometimes you just gotta play with them. This is old, stuck together forever stuff. It doesn't like coming apart. You have to coax it. You have to be gentle. And you're, you're going, <laughs> gentle? <laughs> you just put an inch back to it. It's all about how you do that. You do it right. You know, you're using air tools, and you're actually being gentle, believe it or not. There we go. Just need that extra little bit of force, you know? Mostly, these are for rigids. These are not swing arm, these are for rigid frames. If they don't have these, those are swing arms. Got it? These are rigid frames. So, we got that off. And these are going to be a pain in the butt. So, let's take the top. Here. Of course, somebody's calling me. I'll try to do this off and get this phone call. Yo, guy, what's up?